What's up everybody? I got a new video for you today. We're finally getting into some farming stuff. Um, we're actually gonna put out some ammonium nitrate out on our pasture grass to go on and give it a little jump start to get ready for some, some hay mowing. And uh, we usually use the MTA there or just a, a smaller tractor because it doesn't take a lot. But what we decided to do was we're gonna use the 4320 because it's got deals on it. There's a few spots that are still pretty doggone wet right now. And yes, the duels are gonna track down more grass, but we figure the more surface area on the ground, the better. You move a little faster, it's not gonna slip a tire, it's not gonna spin nearly as easy. So that's what we're gonna use. So stay tuned and I will get you some footage of that. I don't know if you folks can tell, but the side of this hill is not looking the greatest for grass. It's a little bit thin, kind of splotchy, but it's just a typical hillside. The nutrients will just wash down. So that's why we're trying to get some fertilizer on it. So maybe we'll get a decent cut in the hay off of this. So that's why we're putting it out right here first. That and also because the buggy we got a good load in it right now. It'd be a lot better to have a heavy loaded buggy to start out up here than be down in the bottom and have a fully loaded buggy in the muddy ground. As you can see, it's still pretty muddy out here. Now, yes, this is behind one of these terraces, so it holds a little bit of water, but it's still pretty muddy, and it appears as though the duels are doing a, a decent job of keeping the, the surface area to a maximum and not letting the tractor sink down. Hopefully you folks can see what I was talking about, about there being a good hill down here. And that's what we're going around. You can kind of tell Dad's making this curve and headed back that way. So we're just going around the base of this hill now. Uh, he's spread out a decent amount right now, so it's getting a little bit lighter. Um, that way we can go in some little bit lower areas without uh, running the risk of making too big ruts. And then once we get done with that, we're going to head over there and the cow pasture because they need green grass too. They're getting hungry. The grass actually looks a little bit better than what we're cutting for hay. So back to the action.
So while Dad's over there putting out fertilizer, I thought I'd come over here and check out the oats and see how they're doing. And they, uh, well, I wish they looked a little bit better, but they've had a pretty rough winter. So I think they look okay for, for what they are and what they've been through. They're, they're kind of splotchy, but hopefully, hopefully, over the next few weeks, get some warmer weather. They'll come on, spring back to life and start taking off like crazy. And also folks, I don't know if you can see it uh, in the background here, uh, down there in the bottom where all that yellow top is, that is ground that uh, Dad actually put that ox plow on that I missed filming for y'all. I'm sorry, I really am. But I promise we will have some more big work for that tractor to do. That tractor, it wasn't in the shot, sorry. Um, I, I know it's a big tractor, it needs a big, some big work to do. We'll get there, we'll get there. It'll just take some time. So, in the search for bringing the highest quality of videos I can, I'm now sitting on top of an old boiler tank just to get some good shots. You folks can see, Dad's actually down there fertilizing the oats. I need a good shot. With that folks we're done putting out fertilizer for the day i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you have please leave a like and a comment and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already there is more farming video or more farm videos coming sorry uh they're just going to be slow to come uh, hopefully the weather will start acting right and we'll be able to get some more out so with that being said catch you folks later